When it goes on sale in the second half of 2014, the all-new Kia Soul EV will prove itself the perfect car for zero-emissions urban driving. But the development program for the car extends far beyond the city limits. At Kia's test facility in Swedish Lapland, just an hour's drive from the Arctic Circle, engineers have spent the winter months testing the car in temperatures as low as minus 35 degrees Celsius. These are temperatures which most Sol EV owners are unlikely to experience themselves when driving their car. The tests are designed to prove the durability and drivability of the car in extreme cold, and also to test a range of all new heating, ventilation and air conditioning technologies developed especially for the Sol EV. As drivers turn up the heating in the winter, an electric vehicle can have its driving range reduced by up to 50% under extreme cold temperatures. So we are um, here to test the vehicles we want uh, to sell to the customer. We want to test them, to prove them in these winter conditions. We also will not have these winter conditions in Germany, of course. So we go into the toughest area in Europe to prove the cars there and to get ready for the customer to sell the cars. We want to have the problems first. The four new technologies fitted to the Sol EV successfully reduce energy consumption by the heating, air conditioning and ventilation system, maintaining the driving range. The main development is a new, highly efficient heat pump which recycles waste heat from the air conditioning and electrical systems and more efficiently heat up the cabin. Kia's driver-only individual ventilation is the world's first system that cuts off heating and ventilation to the footwell and dashboard ventilation on the passenger side. While a new pre-scheduled ventilation system allows the driver to tell the car to heat itself up or cool itself down while plugged into the grid. Both of these technologies help the car achieve greater range in colder or hotter temperatures. Finally, engineers have been testing a new smart air intake control which monitors and controls the amount of air entering the cabin. This minimizes the use of heating or air conditioning during a journey. Sol EV prototypes have also been put through their paces in Korea and North America. But with Arctic temperatures challenging the car every day, northern Sweden has proved one of the toughest tests of all for the innovative Kia.